and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley, what are you doing over there? Lotioning. Lotioning oh up, man. Oh, my God. Oh. Could you, could you put lotion on some other time? Oh, no, man. See? Just teaching you. Oh, this is how you do it. No, it's not. And, and you knock your mic back nice out of the fresh. way. Keeps the skin nice and fresh. No, it doesn't. Smooth. Moisturized. <laughs> Very important. I wake up in the morning, all and the, the first thing I have to do is get all the grease off my face from what ah. I slept in, and you put more on. This is Ew. good. It's good for you. It's good for no, your it's skin. Not. It's gross. It's great for you. Mm. Now you smell like a cream puff, and you got creepy skin. Jurgen. Oh, God. Natural glow. <laughs> Uh, Eye right, lotion now, with Jergen's right. natural glow. <laughs> Damn Skippy. <laughs> That's how just, real men do sometimes it, Sometimes you just skeeve me out, dude. You really do. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you do it on purpose. Uh, what were you Are you lotioning about? your eyebrows? Yeah, everything. Oh, God. Uh, Why did we have to watch this? Because, you know, it's just, it's a little behind the scenes, in front no, of the it's, scenes. It's, there you and go. is that like a tanning? Lotion too? Yeah, it is too. It keeps your it, it keeps oh, me from being all pasty and pale. You're hopeless. You know that you are just so months. lost. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, man. All right, do some news or something before I barf because oh okay. god. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. A border security bill. It seems like we've been talking about this ad nauseum forever, but it has been approved, and President Donald Trump says he will sign it. The House approved them the measure which includes a little over 1.3 billion for border security by a vote of 300 to 128 the bill passed the senate 83 16 president trump also said he will declare a national emergency uh to secure funding needed for a wall on the border with mexico now this is probably going to drag through the courts for years yep is what this is going to end up doing and politically it's the right move because this will be a talking point again in 2020. We're going to be talking yep. about this border wall forever. And it's, it's even the people that live there and the authorities that live there say there's no emergency. Hmm. There's no emergency. That's 100% accurate. But to say that, that a wall won't help stemmy the tide of illegal immigration is just false it's wrong if, if oh. walls didn't work they wouldn't be built it's not the answer it's not the answer but it does it is you know a help to the problem what kills me a, the most about the whole no. thing is him coming back to all the drugs that are coming in and all the human trafficking that's going on you know what right dude the drugs are getting mailed in from china they're they're coming You're through right. the united states post office Human trafficking happens through a friend of a friend or a family member or something like yes. that. He's painting this huge, big picture. Right. It is – it's it's a skewed view of all this stuff. It is, but it's also partially true. Now, that's not true. If you're 100% right. Drugs coming in from China. Uh, a lot of a lot of the trafficking actually so the bulk gets of it's coming from. Of yeah. yeah. And most of the illegal drugs come through – legal ports of entry right but the flow of illegal immigration to say that a wall will not help once again it's not a fix to the problem but to say it won't help prevent that is just false and it's five billion dollars which is nothing that's what that's what gets me it's it's nothing it's a nothing okay. burger financially it just is you know take I mean, your we, money you and know, throw it in the street whatever I, well I gotta... we we spent Dude, we spend over five million, over five billion, on food stamps every month. Okay, this is not, you know, this is not a a, a large, you know, and that's not a ton. Five I, billion on dude, food stamps I get it. isn't a lot. But at least with food stamps, you're feeding people. And with a wall, you're helping prevent illegal immigration. You're helping. You're not just yeah. like you're not solving the problem. You're not solving the problem with with poverty with food stamps you're not we're not solving the problem with poverty with food stamps we're not going to solve the problem of immigration with the wall but both do help agreed there we go oh yeah i i i, I, I couldn't agree more one i'm good, sold one now good. wait seriously i didn't say it was solved did you even pay attention <laughs> to anything i said i, I, said I heard both you dude help you know you know what dude, it is both help it's a monument to his ego and that's all it is dude Look, I don't deny that. 
I, I totally agree. This is very much ego driven. But I don't know. But I don't know why you get all not, worked up about this. I get worked up about it because people don't seem to get nuanced. They, they, it's either all either it's all great or it's all bad, and it can be somewhere in the middle. Two things can be true at the same time. This okay. is a monument to his ego. Yes. But that, will it also help not solve the problem, but will it help with the problem of illegal immigration? Yeah, it will. How much? Who knows? Okay. Same thing with food stamps, helping the helping the poor. Doesn't solve the problem, but it helps. Okay. Moving on. Thank you. To uh, bad news for diet soda lovers. I mean, you're a, you're a, are you a diet 7-Up uh, guy or a regular 7-Up uh, guy? The only 7-Up I drink anymore now is just diet 7-Up, yeah, at oh, night. Oh, bad news. Oh, uh -oh. poor Andy. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, does Cindy drink it? Uh, she she likes to have a few sips of mine. Okay, a few, okay. But so, Cindy, right, on the other hand, okay. is Diet Coke. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh yeah. It's in good. Huh? It's in good. Now, uh, bad news for diet soda lovers, drinking two or more of any kind of artificially sweetened drinks. Now, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. This hot chocolate, this sugar-free hot chocolate, artificial sweeteners. Oh, boy. So we're all in the same boat. <coughs> it is linked to an increased risk of strokes and heart attacks. It's also linked to early death for women over 50. The risks were higher in black women. Who are also obese, so um, so not as high as you know. You, you, you guys don't have as much to worry about. Well, as as, still uh, as other as other as other. And then people. they'll tell you jogging's good for you, and then they'll tell you don't exercise because it's bad for you. No, and then nobody tell you, says don't exercise. <laughs> nobody says don't exercise. Then they'll tell you that too much salt's bad for you. Then they'll tell you, yeah, you're right. oh, drink a glass of wine every day. Mm -hmm. Then they'll tell you it's just who mm -hmm. cares? Live your life. You want diet coke? Drink diet well coke. Well said. There you, you go. Well said. Totally. Once again, we can come together on this. We can. See, we just did. Mm. Both enjoying our artificially sweetened beverages. What are they Lumber paying Jacks. you per lift of that cup? Per, what's ZZM paying me? Uh, nothing. Oh, well. Literally. Thought, thought maybe as many times as you're holding hoist in that thing, they're giving you five bucks a shot. <laughs> you, you think they should? Maybe. <laughs> oh, look at you. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Lumberjacks back in action for three games over the weekend. Jacks are in Chicago tonight to take on the Steel at 7.05. Muskegon returns home for two games. So you're going to be working this weekend, Saturday and working. Sunday. Central Illinois, Saturday face-off, 7.15. Sunday, puck drops at 3.15. You guys got anything special planned for uh, uh, this uh, weekend set of games? I think uh, Saturday night they've got Marvel night. So like okay. superheroes and all that kind of stuff. Oh, sweet. And then Sunday, you know you know what I think's going on? What? U of M Day. Really? You should come on out. Why would I come out for uh the uh to up your the street cred? Michigan. Eh, nah. Hang with a okay. winning team. Uh, oh, That's you mean I'd Michigan do. State? No, 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 no. No. Mm. Um, anyway. You should come out and you should Michi come out and hang with Classy people for a change. Uh, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah. I'll get right on that. Michigan, by the way, will host 24th ranked Maryland on Saturday. Noon tip off. Sparty takes on the Ohio State on Sunday. Uh, it's CBS. That's also a noon tip off. That's sports. They're playing at CVS, the drugstore? Oh, Jesus. On CBS. The oh, Michigan on CBS. Oh, on oh, okay. Michigan hope, State plays the I Ohio you, State. I thought you were throwing a plug CBS. for CVS, too. CBS. Uh. CBS. What? CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. Ah. In case you didn't Very know. Very good. Anyway, there you go. That's sports. Have a great week, and we'll see you Monday. I shall.